Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. Welcome to another episode of The Taranique Show. I am so happy that you guys have decided to join us for yet another episode. Please like, share, subscribe. We are The Taranique Show on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Apple and Spotify podcasts, everywhere The Taranique Show. On this episode, we are going to talk about five daily practices for retaining length. So, Length is something that a lot of us want to achieve and even though our hair is growing every single day, it seems as though like your hair is not getting any longer, but it's growing. So what are some things that we can do every day to ensure that we retain length? So I put together some practical steps that anyone can do if you're busy, if you just don't have time to take care of your hair. This, These are practices that you can implement each day so that you retain length or to ensure that you retain length. So we know that in order to retain length, you have to take care of your ends. So the ends of your hair. The ends of your hair are the oldest or is the oldest part of the hair. And because of that, that means that the ends become more dry, brittle easily, and they break easily and also split. And that causes you not to retain length because as your hair becomes dry, brittle, and break, that means your ends are breaking off and you cannot retain length if you're not retaining the ends of your hair. So let's talk about five ways that we can take care of our hair especially the ends. The ends need lots of TLC, lots of love and care so that our hair will look like it's growing even though it is growing. Number one, I said that the ends can become dry and brittle. So something that you can do every day is oil your ends. What this looks like when you're oiling your ends is you're paying special attention to your ends At the end of each day, you take a spray bottle with water and then you put it in, you know, you put your hair in a section and then you spray it lightly with water and then you put the oil on your ends. An oil that I like to use on my ends is avocado oil because it is very nourishing, very moisturizing and it seals in moisture and it's lightweight, it's not greasy at all. So I use that to keep my ends moisturized and not dry and brittle. So you can spray the ends lightly with water and then you take a little bit of avocado oil and then you put it on the ends. To make it easier for you, you can do it in sections. So just as you would section your hair when you're detangling, you can part your hair down the middle and across and then take this section of the hair, lightly spray it with water and oil the ends. I like to oil about two to three inches of my end. So I kind of look at my hair to see, you know, the condition of it. And then I oil those areas that, you know, look most dry. The reason why, you know, curly hair tends to be drier and more brittle than, you know, straighter hair or wavier hair is because the natural sebum that our scalp produces And the purpose of that natural sebum is to hydrate and nourish and moisturize the hair strands. But because we have curly hair, that natural sebum cannot reach the ends of our hair. And that's why you'll see people who have straighter hair or wavier hair, it seems as though their hair is longer and they retain more length. They retain more length because the entire hair strand is being nourished and moisturized daily. Whereas with curly hair or even coily hair, so when you go into the type four pattern where it's like tightly coiled, it is harder 
for that natural sebum that your body is producing to reach the ends of the hair. Therefore, we have to pay special attention to our hair and oil it ourselves. So oil your ends, ladies. Number two, keep your ends detangled. When your hair is tangled, it causes it to mat, it causes split ends, and it causes breakage. So when you are oiling your ends daily, you can also detangle your ends before you put the oil on it. So spray it lightly with water, or you can put like a little bit of leave-in conditioner and take your detangling brush and hold, you know, the section of the hair. And remember, ladies, that we want to detangle from the ends upward. So just hold the section of the hair and just detangle. Make sure that the ends are detangled before you put the oil on it, but always, always detangle hair that is damp and has conditioner on it. So we move into our number three point, moisturize your ends with leave-in conditioner. These tips are not in any particular order, but if, we, if I would put them in an order, I would say first you want to spray the hair lightly with water, then you put your conditioner on it. After you put your conditioner on it, then you detangle your ends. After you detangle your ends, then you oil your ends. These steps will help you to retain length because it will ensure that the ends of your hair do not break or they're not dry and brittle and you will hold on or retain the ends of your hair for longer, healthier hair. Number four, this is a very important point and it is to protect your hair at night. Most of us have cotton sheets or, you know, we sleep on cotton, you know, a cotton pillowcase. Cotton and our hair does not go well together because it causes friction, it causes moisture to be removed, it causes frizz. So protect your ends at night by either wearing a satin or silk bonnet or pillowcase or a scarf, right? So you want to protect your, your, your hair at night. If you don't like to put on bonnets or scarves, the best thing to do is get a satin or silk pillowcase. We have a great one. It's our Curly Bell Luxury Satin and Silk Pillowcase. It is great for the hair and also great for the skin. It will not absorb moisture. It will not cause friction between your hair and your skin. And it will give you, you know, that silky feeling and it will keep your moisture in as you sleep. So invest in a nice, satin or silk pillowcase or wear your bonnet or your your scarf at night to protect your ends to protect your hair from moisture loss and from frizz number five inspect your ends for split ends and knots and trim you don't have to wait until you go to a salon to get your hair trimmed you can Basically, when you're doing your routine, when you're doing this routine every night, while you're detangling your hair, after you detangle it, you look at that at your ends and you see what areas have split ends and what areas have knots. Just lightly clip them off. Get yourself a nice trimming scissors. You can get one from any drugstore or you can order it on Amazon, wherever, and get yourself a nice pair of scissors to just take care of those split ends and those knots immediately split ends and knots they do cause us to not retain length they do cause our ends to look frayed and you know it can damage the entire hair shaft so you want to take care of them as soon as they appear so you want to trim them off and you know you don't have to have like a perfect trim right it's just you look at your ends and you see okay i have one or two split ends clip that off that's not gonna damage your your haircut or the way your hair looks it's really only going to keep your hair maintained and help you to retain length so again five daily practices for retaining length number one oil your ends number two keep your ends detangled number three moisturize your ends with a leave-in conditioner number four protect your ends at night and number five trim off any split ends or knots. 
This will help you to retain length because your hair is growing. It's just that you aren't taking care of your ends and that's why your hair seems to stay at the same length. I hope that this was helpful to you. If it was, please like, follow, share, subscribe. We are The Turning Show on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Threads, Apple and Spotify podcasts, everywhere The Turning Show. Have a great day.